Hello to all my amazing people out there. Hope you guys are having a great time. This is your friend Ashish and I'm back with another interesting lesson obviously on your demand. Uh so in this lesson we are going to understand we are going to learn what is an infinitive in English. What is an infinitive? How does it look like? How do we use it? What are the functions it performs and with which verbs we are not supposed to use infinitives. and many more interesting things okay so uh, make sure you watch the lesson till the end i'm excited i hope you too let's do it all right people now let us understand what is an infinitive an infinitive in english is nothing but the base form of a verb it is nothing but the base form of a verb and please understand it looks like a verb it is made out of a verb but it does not act as a verb yes you're right it does not act as a verb it looks like a verb it is made out of a verb but it does not work or act as a verb and since it does not work as a verb it is called a non finite verb it is one of the three non finite verbs in english we have all right non finite verbs or verbals we also call them right now how does an infinitive look like how do we find an infinitive very simple it is 2 plus first form of the verb that's exactly how an infinitive looks like and guys please understand sometimes rarely but yeah sometimes this 2 is not there in the infinitive all right 2 is not the part of the infinitive and when this 2 is not there in the infinitive it is called a zero infinitive all right it is called a zero infinitive a uh, what is a zero infinitive how to find it uh, how do we use it we'll talk about all these things in a separate lesson okay now it's very important to understand that there are different forms of infinitives in english four to be precise okay but in this lesson we are only going to use simple present infinitives throughout okay we are only going to use simple present infinitives we'll talk about other forms of infinitives in the next lesson all right in this lesson we are only going to use present simple infinitive okay so we've understood what is an infinitive how does it look like but now let's understand what does it do in a sentence what are the functions of an infinitive uh i told you it does not work as a verb though it looks like a verb it does not work or act as a verb then what does it do what exactly does it do an infinitive plays three roles it can work as nouns which it generally works as all right it can work as adjectives and it can also work as adverbs yes it can be a noun or an adjective or an adverb right now when it works as a noun in a sentence it can work as the subject of the sentence the object of the sentence and the subject complement it can work as the subject of the sentence the object of the sentence and the subject complement okay when it works as the noun in the sentence all right let us take some examples and understand this to run daily keeps you fit to run daily keeps you fit what is the infinitive here very simple to identify to run is the infinitive here now what is the subject of this sentence very simple ask the question what keeps you fit what keeps you fit to run daily keeps you fit so to run is the infinitive here to run daily is the infinitive phrase okay uh it's a very formal sentence you can also say running keeps you fit so running would be a gerund here so you can either use an infinitive here or a gerund how do we decide whether we use an infinitive or a gerund we'll talk about it in a separate lesson okay so to run daily keeps you fit to run is the infinitive here that's working as the subject of this sentence uh that's a very formal sentence we do not use it when we speak but we do use it when we write sometimes that's your choice if you want to do it you can do it okay Let's look at the next example. To see her happy keeps me happy. That's so romantic. Love is in the air, man. All right. To see her happy keeps me happy. What is the infinitive here? Very simple. To see is the infinitive working as the subject of the sentence. Working as the part of the subject. All right. The subject of the sentence is to see her happy. What keeps me happy? To see her happy keeps me happy. so the subject is to see her happy to see is the infinitive that is part of the subject all right uh, you can also say seeing her happy keeps me happy okay now we're going to have a sentence where the infinitive is going to be working as the object of the sentence let's take this example 
everybody likes to dance yes everybody likes to dance that's true most of the people do all right uh, if you don't that's uh, fine so what is the subject here everybody simple what is the verb likes everybody likes what the moment you ask the question what everybody likes what you get your object which is to dance everybody likes to dance simple right so here the infinitive to dance is working as the object of the sentence cool let's look at the next example i want to cook yes i do because i love cooking all right what is the subject here i what is the verb here simple want what is the object you always want something or somebody am i wanting a person here no i want something which is cooking all right so i want to cook i want to cook i can also say i want to cook something i want to cook pasta all right so here the object of the verb want is to cook i want what to cook cool all right let's take one more example where the infinitive is going to be working as the subject complement now what is a subject complement we already have a lesson on that all you have to do is just go on the channel and watch that all right my job is to teach students my job is to teach students what is my subject here simple my job what is the verb the linking verb here is is and to teach is my subject complement what is a subject complement a subject complement is something basically a noun or an adjective that gives more information about the subject of the sentence that either renames the subject or modifies it so a to teach is giving a new name to the subject my job what is my job to teach all right that's what my job is so to teach is working as the subject complement in the sentence so we just have seen our infinitive when works as the noun in the sentence can work as the subject of the sentence as the object of the sentence and also as the subject complement now let's take some examples of infinitives working as the adjective in the sentence example number 1 he is the guy to meet tomorrow <laughs> very simple to identify the infinitive here right to meet what is the subject he what is the verb is the guy is the subject complement right he is the guy which guy to meet tomorrow so to meet is the infinitive that's giving more information about the noun guy which guy to meet tomorrow so it's helping us to identify that person which person to meet tomorrow he is the guy is a complete sentence right is a complete sentence itself but to meet is adding more details to the sentence is giving more information about the noun guy all right let's take one more example i need a place to live yes i do because i am homeless all right i need a place to live what is the infinitive here very simple to live why is it working as the adjective in the sentence you can ask this question to yourself why why is it working as the adjective in the sentence i need what a place which place to live what kind of a place a place to party to dance what why do you need a place i need a place to live all right so to live is giving information about the noun place why do you need a place to live all right so i need a place to live to live is working as an adjective giving more information about the noun place i need a place to live okay now it's important that you understand sometimes an infinitive comes right after an adjective and gives more information about the adjective itself how let me show you how let's look at this example she was very happy to see me she was very happy to see me see the subject was is the linking verb very happy very is the adverb happy is the adjective very happy to see me so to see is the infinitive here that's giving more information uh, that's modifying the adjective happy <laughs> right she was very happy why to see me got it so it's telling us why she was very happy all right she was very happy to see me let's take one more example the coffee is too hot to drink the coffee is too hot to drink so what is the infinitive here to drink coffee is too hot hot is the adjective to drink is modifying the adjective hot 
very hot too hot to drink right it's coming right after the adjective and modifying it okay now let us take some examples of infinitives working as the adverb in the sentence example number one he called me to borrow some money he called me to borrow some money what is the infinitive here to borrow very simple okay the question is how is it working as an adverb what does an adverb do it gives more information about the verb right that's exactly what an adverb does how is it giving information about the verb what is the verb here he's the subject called is the verb he called me he called me why why did he call me he called me to borrow some money all right that's exactly what this infinitive is doing he called me why to borrow some money so it's telling us the reason why he called he called me to borrow some money so that's how it's working as an adverb in the sentence so infinitives can also work as adverbs in sentences let's take one more example i went there to help i went there to help what is the infinitive very simple to help how i i went there there is also an adverb an adverb of place i went where there why why did i go there the moment you ask the question why why did i go there why i went there you get your answer to help i went there to help so to help is telling us why i went there right so that's how it's working as an adverb in the sentence so guys uh, we just have seen and understood what is an infinitive how does it look like how do we form it how do we use it we've understood everything right now it's very important to understand that uh, there are some verbs with which we do not use infinitives we use errands so i'm sharing these uh, verbs right all you have to do is note these verbs down and please uh, avoid using infinitives after these verbs okay uh, so i hope the lesson was very helpful i hope you've understood what is an infinitive i hope uh, you now know what are the functions it performs still if you have any question any doubt you did not understand anything let me know feel free to let me know do ask questions as many as possible so let me know in the comment section below and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel so that you can get access to all the lessons that we have and i'll see you very soon with a new topic with the next part till then keep learning have fun i am